So uh, please put your hands together. No further ado to the amazing Tyler Norton. <laughs> yeah. uh, Justin, you're hired. Yeah, you are hired. I don't know that I've ever seen an MC any better. Nicole, he's hired. Yeah. He's crazy, right? That's why he got the job, because he's the craziest. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. I thought I would share my beautiful mountains with you guys in the background. Oh, uh, lovely. I'm here on the border of Idaho and Wyoming in a beautiful part of the United States, right in the mountains. And uh, But I'm, I'm really, my heart is with all of you guys down under. And really, there's a lot of people, I think, Nicole and Justin and team from all over the world that are joining this call tonight. I was looking at the numbers, so really, really impressed to see all of you guys on this call tonight. And the panel of powerhouse women uh, on this group are some of the finest leaders we have in this company in the world. And I've been inspired as I've listened to your stories tonight. And uh, I just really feel grateful to be a part of this, this organization. I'm looking down at 479 is the number, 78, 79 people on this call. It's quite remarkable. Well, what that doesn't remarkable? include the Facebook Live, Tyler, and yeah, right. many people That's right. are watching this together as groups. So on awesome. the raffle, we actually have nearly 700 people on the raffle. What oh, an achievement. Goodness. That is an achievement. Well done. And they're all dancing with you at the same time, Facebook Live and then dancing. So that was awesome. <laughs> I hope so. We have 740 people on the raffle now. That's incredible. Great job. The dancing and laughing. That's great. Well, listen, I, I feel very privileged to be able to share a few minutes with you this evening, my time. It's, uh, it's almost 9 p.m. here where I am in the States. Um, but um, I'd first like to just say thanks to all of you for being a part of ASEA. Those of you that might be uh, taking a look at ASEA for the first time, I want to tell you that uh, this, is, this may be one of the more significant opportunities you'll ever see in your life. Um, Years ago, I had a dear mentor uh, share a poem with me. It, I'll see if I can recite part of it, but it said, Master of human destinies am I, fame, love, and fortune on my footsteps wait. And cities and fields I walk, I penetrate deserts and seas remote, and passing by hovel, mart, or palace, soon or late, I knock unbidden once at every gate. If sleeping, wake. If feasting, rise. It is the hour of fate. And what goes on, this poem goes on to say, uh, those that doubt or hesitate and don't respond to him who is coming, right, really miss something very significant. And then, the, of course, the title of the poem is Opportunity. And uh, this notion of um, soon or late, it will knock unbidden once at your gate. Now, those of us that have maybe been fortunate enough to have several opportunities knock at our gate, wonderful. But there are moments in time when your life intersects with an opportunity unlike anything you've ever seen before. And I know that you would expect me to say that in my role, but let me back up and tell you a little bit of the story and why I think it's relevant. Um, <clears throat> this opportunity is not normal. This is a unique opportunity for you to impact lives in a way that you may never have experienced before. Um, finding people in need of support in their lives in terms of health and wellness, uh, people that are looking for solutions, as you saw today by some of the, our great speakers with time and time freedom and family freedom, be able to live to your priorities and focus on the things that matter most to you. Um, and it's easy to dismiss opportunities, right? Remember, he says, master of human destinies and my fame, love, and fortune on my footsteps wait. I walk cities and fields and deserts. Uh, it goes all around, but it typically only knocks a few times in your life. And I would submit to you, having been around this company now for 10 years, this is very, very unique what you're seeing tonight. Those of you that have been associated with it now for a while and are pro probably thinking, I want to do more or I want to reach for more, um, I want to encourage you. One of my favorite things about this industry is the opportunity to start again, to re-engage yourself, to re-envision and re-imagine your future and start to say, how can I drive myself forward to another level? 
And, um, you know, when my, I don't know about you, I would not have invested. My dad came at age 69. He found a technology. <clears throat> we live, in, of course, in the Salt Lake City area. And here's a technology made from salt water. And it's kind of crazy. I mean, how many of you would have actually invested in something like that? I used to make fun of my dad. We'd have Sunday dinners together and I would have a good laugh with him because he was telling me about this product that he was so convinced that the world needed. And it took me much longer than him, to him, his everlasting credit, his vision, his confidence, his conviction, his belief, Jessica, that you were talking about, was so high, so early in this process that he was convinced. And dad and I were just taking some 10 year anniversary pictures at the offices last week. And I looked at him and I said, uh, we were walking through a 60,000 square foot production facility at our Redox Center. We were looking at all the people working in the bottling facility and the process. And I'm going back to my dad having a one liter ability to make this at a time on a small device in the basement kitchen of his home uh, in a small kitchen in the basement. And I, I just thought, you know, dad, did you ever imagine this? And you know what he said to me last week? He said, I absolutely imagined this. It, it wasn't like he was surprised. It wasn't, you know, and, and here we are, all these people are working on the production line where we have rows and rows and rows and pallets and pallets of product going to 33 different countries around the world. And here's my dad saying, of course, yeah, I, I knew this was going to happen. His vision, his conviction was the, the very beginning. And I kind of mocked it. I was like, dad, what are you doing? You're 69 years old. You don't need to start a business. Now, to be fair, Julie, he was driving my mother crazy okay, at the house. And so she wanted him out of the house. She wanted him to go do something. And, uh, but he found this technology and really became convinced that the world needed it. And it's 10 years since, uh, a little more than 10 years actually. And the tens and tens and tens of thousands of people into the hundreds of thousands of people around the world uh, that have been blessed and benefited by this. And I gotta be honest with you guys, my dad was a pretty wealthy, successful person before starting ASEA. And he drives the same car, literally the same car he had 10 years ago. He doesn't really care about the dollars. He was genuinely interested in saying, this is something the world needs and people need, and I want to be part of helping get it to them. Um, and, you know, for me, my experiences were very personal. I had to see this firsthand. I, I would not, I couldn't believe it until I had a neighbor friend, some of you have maybe seen me speak about this in the Genesis video. I had a very dear friend that was a neighbor of mine that went through a very significant challenge in his life. And I asked dad if, I, if he thought this could help. Now at the time I called it the stuff, as you know, you probably heard me tell this story. And I said, dad, will the stuff help? And he said, well, and this is what's interesting about my dad. I remember being kind of put back, put off by the fact that he was so quick to say, of course it'll help. And I said, how do you know? How can you be so confident that this will help. And he said, because I know. And sure enough, I gave this to a neighbor friend of mine who had a very significant uh, outcome with the ASEA Redox. Uh, at the time, it wasn't even a blue bottle. It was, it was a crazy experience. I took him like a five gallon camping jug of ASEA that my dad had made. And, and uh, this person called me and, and we spoke later and he said, listen, uh, you have no idea what this has done for me. Can you possibly imagine what this has done for me? And, uh, you know, my answer was at the time uh, was, no, I, I don't really know what this has done for you. I need to better understand it. And what ensued from there was I've traveled all over the world. I've been to dozens and dozens of countries, and it's invariable. At the end of a session, I'll have someone come up to me and say, can I talk to you? I need you to tell a story to your dad, or can they bring me a letter? Um, I've had people bring, you know, DVDs and videos and, and thumb drives with stories and messages and songs and, and these stories, my, my father has binder after binder. These are big, big three inch binders. And they've got a lot of this stuff telling the story of, of their life. And these are real families. These are real people. These are, these are, it's an incredible tribute to the effect of this technology and product. And we feel that we have a responsibility to get it out to the world. And we really couldn't have done that without all of you. Um, I gotta tell you something, I think we all would agree that 20, 30 years ago, the concept of antioxidants was not really well understood. Um, and now I was laughing because I can get a cherry seven up at the store with my kids or something and it'll say antioxidants on the can. 
And I think you all know that that's been leveraged aggressively in the marketplace to the point where if you ask people what antioxidants do, I don't, I mean, they would probably say they battle oxidants, but I don't think they really understand. And over the last probably 15 to 20 years, emerging science is leading to the fact that it's not just oxidants, but it's reductants as well. It's an equilibrium between re and dox. So reductants and oxidants together are kind of the future. In fact, the Society for Free Radical Biology in the United States, which essentially is oxidants, right? The management of antioxidants or oxidants has just changed their name to the Society for Redox Biology. Um, there are companies, there's universities all across the United States that are creating programs. I just saw one last week at Wake Forest University called the Wake Forest Center for Redox Biology and Medicine. So redox is not a concept that's terribly new to the science community, but most of the marketing world is in the antioxidant phase. And what we're offering to the world is a form of balance that's both reductants and oxidants. And it's really going to be the future. And the way I've thought about this is I don't even think we, even our great leaders on this call realize where redox is going. It's going to become as prevalent and as common a framework as is and has become antioxidants. What that does is creates a very unique opportunity for you to help uh, people to understand that there are things happening in their bodies right now that are redox related. Redox is a massive phenomenon in the body. It's how, it, I mean, the, the gentleman that won the Nobel Prize for uh, discovering vitamin C said, life is nothing more than an electron looking for a place to rest. The, the transfer of electrons is redox. And that's basically life. And so what we're learning is getting that in balance right? Supplementing yourself with redox supplements and creating that balance in your body will optimize athletic ability. It'll optimize health. It'll op optimize cellular renewal, cellular communication, detection and need for repair. And it's so ubiquitous, the need for this, that it's actually impacting lots of people at their point of need. And that's a really interesting concept. Dad originally bought this technology from an organization interested in commercializing it through a therapeutic or pharmaceutical approach in the United States. If you understand anything about that approach, the indication signals a single key on the piano. You can only indicate one thing that it helps. And a big part of the reason dad pulled back from that and said, we've got to find a different way is because he had become convinced that this could help so many different challenges and situations. And when you stop and think about a product that has the potential, and I didn't believe it, by the way. So if you're a skeptic, I, I'm good. Like I was the skeptic too. I totally understand that. But when you stop and consider, just go share it. If you don't have confidence that this is real, go share it. And you'll have the phone call with someone. I was talking, uh, Christine, I was talking to a person that had 10 years experience in another very large company in Europe. And he called me and he said, I need to tell you something. He said, I had never once been called with a tearful, reflective voice of gratitude on the other end for any of the work I did in 10 years. I'd never once received a joyful, tearful call of gratitude from anyone for the products I sold in my prior 10 year experience. And he was a very successful player in a very well-known uh, international network marketing company. He says, I've been with ASEA for 10 months and I've received 10 phone calls, each one independent from another, calling to say with tears streaming down their face, I had to call and thank you for the impact you've had in my life. And he said, how can you price that? Uh, early on, I heard someone say that someday you'll get paid in goosebumps. That's a unique way to think about it. You'll be comp compensated in a very unique way. So the vision is big for where we're headed with this. Um, in some ways, we're 10 years old and we feel one year old. Um, the opportunity for us to reach out and expand into the world. Um, every one of you that's on this call tonight, every single one of you has the ability to build a global business. And I want you to stop and consider that. Like you are one phone call away, one associate being sponsored away from any country in this world where we're open, which I'll remind you is 33 countries. And you can build a global business, a business that allows you to travel, a business that allows you to get out and see people clearly after the 2020 year is over, right? But I'm amazed. I have worked with people in this organization that I would have never dreamed, but they have businesses all around the world. They have relationships all around the world. And these are real, meaningful, substantive relationships. 
So when I say, what's the vision for this company, we're going to continue to expand. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to develop redox technologies and products. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful place for you to land and expand, to plant yourself here, to bloom and to reach your full potential. And I'm convinced that the world's greatest resource that's under leveraged, underutilized is the human resource. I think there are so many people that sit in a scenario and say, I had to trade the maybe for the sure early in my life, and I don't know how to get it back. I don't know how to move away from the sure thing I have to have every day. And yet they want to reach out. They want to be able to say what Sally said or what Loreen said, or they want to be able to say like, I, I can do that. This is a place where you can. And I've told several times from the stage a story about my son. I have a son who's a great little basketball player. He loves to play. And when he started getting into uh, competitive leagues, I watched him kind of shrinking, right? He was, scared to, he was scared to shoot. He was scared to kind of be himself. And I remember telling him, hey, I want you to miss. I, I want you to shoot and miss. And I, I was trying to give him permission to miss. You know what a SIA is for me? It's a safe place for you to come and shoot and make it and shoot and miss. You need to be able to come here and try. We live in a world where trying sometimes the risks of not succeeding, the risks of having someone suggest you're not good enough or you can't. And that becomes the voice that we feed, right? That's the wolf you're feeding. And I'm telling you, this is a place where you can come bring your best talent, bring who you are and shoot and miss and you can shoot and make it. And we are a safe place for you. We care a lot about the people. Uh, we want you to succeed economically, but unfortunately for me, I don't like showing <clears throat> pictures of Maseratis and Ferraris and big houses and telling you, if you just sign up, you're going to get that, even though you can, even though there are people in this company that can afford all that. I don't really think that's what this is about. I think this is about you developing yourself, reaching full potential, learning to inspire others and be inspired from them and build yourself into the next version of you. There's too many voices and too many circumstances that are not allowing that to happen. So we have a unique technology. We have an incredible compensation plan and an opportunity for you to change your world economically. It could be a few hundred dollars a week, a month uh, to several thousand. It's up to you. You can make it fit and match you where you are. Um, and these people, these beautiful, talented, capable, powerful women and a great MC are on your screen right now. And they're all committed to saying, look, I did this. This is happening in my life. Like this is real. And sometimes I think we're quick to say, well, Nicole did this, but I can't do this. And I want to tell you, yes, you can. You can actually do this. And you need to reboot. If you started and it hasn't gone the way you've wanted to, learn some lessons from it. Control, alt, delete, reboot. Go forward again. And that's the beauty of this opportunity is you can continue to grow and build. So uh, Nicole and, and, and Justin, I want to thank you guys for letting me share a few minutes with all of you tonight. Our vision for the future is big. I get it if you're on this call for the first time trying to make sense of it. I didn't believe it either. Uh, but I'll tell you that you're, you're sitting at an opportunity that maybe uh, you, you don't want to miss. And I'll tell you one last thing, and I've said this many times from the stage and including down at the Gold Coast. If you're on this call tonight, maybe even for the first time, you're not on this for you. It's honestly not about you. You're here for someone you have yet to meet. You're here for a neighbor like my neighbor who literally came to me and said, do you realize what you've done for me? And maybe the single greatest act of friendship you'll extend to somebody. And it sound, may sound cheesy to you, right? It may be like, whatever. No, I'm serious. You may find that the single greatest act of friendship you ever extend to someone is the day you share a see you with them. Because people are looking for solutions. And I'll bet everyone that's spoken and everyone that will continue to speak on this great session could say to you, I've had people come back to me and say, the greatest, one of the greatest acts of friendship ever extended to me was when someone said to me and told me about ASEA because it will change your life. And I've seen it change your life. Now you got to let it in. You can't leave a room you were never in, right? You got to come in and you got to jump in with both feet. Don't stick your toe in and then say, oh, this didn't work for me, right? It, 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 for it to work for you, you got to work for it. You got to put yourself in a position to do it. You got to be willing to shoot and miss. But I can tell you right now, this is a wonderful opportunity and want you all to know how thankful I am just to be a part of it. I don't even feel anything more than just a small part of it. Each one of you are a sphere of influence and impact in the world, and you're touching people's lives and making a difference. And uh, I honor every one of the women on this call. You're powerful, 
capable, incredibly inspiring, real leaders, true, true leaders in every sense of the word. And it's just an absolute privilege to associate with you. The fact of the matter is people like me and Justin just need to get out of your way and uh, you guys would uh, rule the world and change the world for the better. So thanks for letting me be a part of this tonight. Thanks to all of those that are listening and those on Facebook Live. And uh, Justin, thanks for dancing on the screen tonight and giving me a good laugh a few minutes ago. It's great to be with all of you and I wish you all the very, very best uh, this day. So thanks a lot.